um, th thanks a lot uh, for the invitation, uh, for giving this talk. Um, yeah, and thanks for this very nice conference. I mean, I'm the last speaker, so. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yeah, so, so the talks um, that I heard um, were really nice. And in my talk, um, yeah, I titled the sequences with Chase Xcraft. Um, um, yeah, because that's the main topic for uh, this year. Um, I mean, last year I introduced uh, our platform um, where we use Chase Xcraft now also. And yeah, um, yeah, let's start. Uh, why will I talk about uh, visualization of sequences? Um, I mean, sequences are, I mean, main point or well, main obstacle for students in the STEM studies in the first semester. Yeah, I mean, they have heard a lot of stuff in school already, but but uh, and the concept of sequence is a really new thing. And so I think it's really a, um, very important that they get a better understanding. And yeah, and what's the best, <clears throat> I mean, all of you, you uh, who are here, um, yeah, know that with, uh, having visualizations is, is really good. And also the interactivity, um, yeah, it's important so that they can explore things. And yeah, and moreover, um, um, yeah, it's even better if they are enhanced by exercises that, uh, yeah, they have to uh, give some input and they get a feedback on where, whether their input is, is good or not good. And yeah, so I want to start with the first example. Um, of a sequence, so that's how it looked like. And this is a really uh, an example um, which I uh, really wrote um, in, yeah, <clears throat> plain um, uh, JSX uh, script, script, um, and yeah, and I want to show you. Oh, I hope a little bigger. Um, yeah, what does it do? Um, um, yeah, I mean, the sequence is, yeah, is shown here with the points and whether or not you do uh, these red lines uh, is a matter of taste. Um, yeah, and the question is more or less, what is, what is the limit point of the sequence? Yeah. And yeah, so you can zoom out and you get more and more points. Um, and if you move the blue point, then yeah, you might see, okay, uh, if I'm about about here, all these points are getting green and uh, you might be close to the limit point. And yeah, and also this thing, I mean, yeah, this is more or less the epsilon range um, where all these points have to be in at some point. And you can also with the slider, you can make the epsilon range larger or even smaller. And then you see, okay, here, you're still far apart. Uh, so maybe you have to go a little bit more up. Um, and that's what the sh students should do. I mean, my, uh, what I wrote here is, is uh, yeah, can be made, made better, but um, I want to mainly show the, the application here. And yeah, and what I want to show you here for the first thing is um, how, how I did that, that on one hand, um, yeah, when, when moving the, yeah, uh, this um, this strip that all these points get uh, the green color in there, and the others get a yellow color. And the other thing is that uh, yeah, you see um, yeah <clears throat> when we go more to the right, that we it seems that we have endless yeah infinitely many points. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, ha having this this uh, strip which moves with, with that point and where, where the width is um, cha changes with the slider. I mean, this, that's a yeah, standard thing, more or less. What <laughs> um, I don't want to go into details that there. Um, so let's go back to my slide. Um, Yeah, so so these main parts that I want to show you is the coloring. So one thing, how, how do I get the coloring? Um, more or less, I define a function which uses the the x value of, of the point. Um, 
yeah, and returns green or yellow depending on whether the condition is satisfied. Yeah, so on, and the condition just says that okay, uh, sequence of n. Um, so so the sequence is a variable that uh, has the um, yeah give, gives me gives me the sequence. Uh, yeah. And and middle is that point that I, the like blue point that I can move, and so if the absolute value of the sequence at this value n minus the middle is smaller than the slider, the value of the slider, then it should be green and other make yellow. Yeah, yeah. And this coloring function, I have just have to um, um, uh, apply. Um, whenever the board is updated, uh, and I have to apply it for each of the points that I that are displayed. Uh, so I set the attribute of the point, um, so the fill color of the point to this coloring. But yeah, and yeah, and that really works very nicely. And yeah, and the other thing is how do I get these infinitely many um, points, yeah. Of course, they are not infinitely many points. Um, actually, at the at the beginning, I only have the points which are in in the board, uh, and then when when I zoom in or out, um, um, yeah, I use a nice feature of of JSXGraph that there's an event called bounding box. Um, so if if the bounding box of of the JSXGraph app changes, then this uh, this function, which I write here, uh, will be um, applied. Yeah. And what it more or less does is that okay, it calculates what is what is the um, yeah how many points do I already have? So what is the coordinate of the last point? That's the last x. What I write here, it computes what what is the right bound of the uh, of the uh, bounding box, and then I add new points. Uh, from this last x plus one up to right one plus one, so that I'm out of that. And of course, I also have uh, uh, will have um, additional things to do for getting the lines up to there. And the lines they are they are just um, well the whole whole thing of the lines is is just a um, polygonal chain. And yeah, where these points that I add to the thing is. Uh, are new, are added also. Yeah. Okay. Up to now, I mean, this is uh, just um, the visualization sequence, and we can play around and and so on. And but I, what I also said is that we want to uh, synchronize it with text. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is even more to do. <laughs> um, so th that we yeah have have this text down there. And to really simplify that, um, or one thing that we do in our Mumia platform um, is trying to help you creating, yeah, visualizations and also other content uh, for higher education or education in general um, quite easily. Yeah, and so the second example uh, I've written in our yeah, in our um, authoring tool um, for our platform, um, and yeah, this is a screenshot for that. And how does it look like? Um, yeah, so that's the screenshot of the thing. And here also, I mean, the main thing is the same as we had, um, but the text um, is updated with that. So. Yeah, you see here the value zero point eight two. This is the value of of the, uh, the y corner of the, of the point, and it updates. And also, uh, we get here feedback whether we are. I mean, this is not the correct limit. If you're very at the bottom, um, it also says this is far from the correct limit. Um, and uh, yeah, and here. Yeah, we are already very close. Yeah. And yeah, and so the next thing that I want to sh show you is um, how the code for that is. And the code in our um, authoring tool, the code for the, for the whole 
visualization are just these lines which fit on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I mean, the, the, co the code is more or less, uh, yeah, it's like a LaTeX, as you see. And you just have to define some variables. You can change the colors of the variables. Um, you have a, a command of a canvas um, where you, um, yeah, specify how big the canvas should be. What is the uh, left left boundary was minus two, and the right is eighteen. And which of of the variables that you define should be shown in the in the uh, screen. Yeah. And then in, in the text, uh, you have text parts uh, where you can use these variables that you define up there. Yeah. So um, yeah, more here, here in, oops, sorry. Uh, in, the, in this um, line, for example, point and curve, um, yeah, we, we are really defining this this point in the middle, um, this blue point, which is then moved on the on the y-axis, for example. And the sequence here is skipping by. I mean, for simplicity, I, I just use this aesthetic thing, but you, yeah, aesthetic sequence. And this is the term for for the sequence. And yeah. Um, yeah, and what I showed you about the coloring, yeah, which were about, I think, 10 lines in uh, raw's JavaScript is then just um, just one line here. Yeah. You have some kind of if else condition. And first you write the condition. We just use the variables you have above. And um, yeah, and you write in here what the colors are. So this is exactly the same thing as before, but with kind of simplified um, notation. Okay. Um, yeah, a third example, um, what, what, what we also enhanced in that is that you can combine these visualization really with, with a question. So, um, yeah, here the question is a little bit different. Namely, um, yeah, we we have here the fixed uh, strip, uh, yeah, a strip with a fixed uh, width, namely uh, the epsilon is one half, and yeah, w one should um, kind of try to find out w what is the smallest n from which on all the points are in the strip, and again you can zoom in and out and and so on and uh, yeah and have to put it in. Yeah, yeah, and also this um, uh, I wrote in uh, in our authoring tool, and yeah, which is part of our platform Mumia. And I just <clears throat> want to tell you a little bit about our platform uh, Mumia now. Yeah, so it is is an e-learning platform for supporting teaching mathematics. Um, and yeah, we have, as, as you saw, it's a late, uh, you can create your own visualizations course, um, and even you can create your own courses um, with a web-based authoring tool in that. Um, and yeah, <clears throat> what you need to know uh, is writing logic. I mean, it's not, Exactly LaTeX, but it's LaTeX style. So if you use uh, with writing LaTeX, with, uh, which yeah, I think most mathematicians are, um, then it should should be easy to write these things. And and also we have a detailed uh, wiki, uh, wiki uh, page for beginners, and we support uh, yeah, give support if uh, for that. Um, apart from um, Apart from having to create your own courses, we, yeah, there are already some courses um, and exercise tasks on our platform. And um, the main two courses are the HM for Mint, which is uh, the high uh, advanced mathematics in first semester course in yeah, which is course um, 
made by a lot of um, universities in uh, North Carolina, Australia. Um, and yeah, and the second big course is, is the online magnetic bridge course, uh, OMB Plus. Yeah, which is uh, intended to help uh, yeah students from uh, high school. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, um, closing their gaps uh, what the, for, in mathematics. Um, yeah, and, and this course is even translated in, I mean, available in several languages in English, German, French, and Chinese um, on the platform. And you can even uh, switch between the languages or see one by one. Yeah. <clears throat> and also from a lot of um, sources, um, yeah, they are um, evolved a, a pool of refereed online ex exercises. I mean, we had that as an in, in talk, I think, on a Tuesday. That I mean, only having a big pool of uh, of exercises is not enough because you want to know. Um, yeah, I mean, is this a good good exercise? And and we, yeah, from the beginning of starting the pool, we looked at the exercises that get into the pool are really um, refereed and that they are. Uh, that they work and that they are good. And uh, I thought, I, yeah, <clears throat> one main thing, I wanted to put that up there <laughs> because that's also always an issue. Um, do you really need to go to our platform um, to use all that stuff? Um, yes and no. Um, the good thing is um, you can integrate uh, this into Moodle Elias or uh, IP uh, via plugin. Yes. So with all these uh, exercises that are on the platform, you can just use them in Moodle um, to enhance your Moodle courses, for example. Uh, and all these exercises, I mean, I wrote there, they are, um, yeah, can be randomized, um, give um, um, feedback, um, yeah, creative feedback, and so on. And yeah, just that you have a little bit more um, impression, visual impression is, um, yeah, this is how the starting page of the OM Plus looks like. You see it up there. Um, and yeah, with, yeah, in each of these uh, chapters, there is, is a uh, exam at the end. And depending on how good you are, you see here the, the score, the progress bar. Um, yeah, and last but not least, the harm for Mint. Um, the other course has also some parts, and um, <clears throat> yeah, and yeah, that was all that I wanted to know uh, to say. I think I was quite fast. <laughs> um, um, yeah, but maybe there are a lot of questions um, and. I'm free. Yeah.